In the cold silence beyond our planet, something has just happened that no one can fully explain. For decades, scientists have built their understanding of the cosmos on solid ground, or so we thought. But then, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward the edge of the observable universe, and what it found has left even the most seasoned astronomers breathless. Ancient galaxies that shouldn't exist, celestial structures that rewrite everything we know, and perhaps most disturbingly, clues that our universe may not have started the way we always believed. This isn't just about astronomy. This could be the biggest shakeup in science since the discovery of the atom. Because if James Webb is right, and so far it hasn't been wrong, then our place in the universe might be very, very different than we imagined. Stay with us, because what you're about to see might just change the way you view reality itself. The first crack in the foundation came when James Webb began returning ultra-deep field images, photos of the earliest moments of our universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, the galaxies that formed shortly after the origin of the cosmos should be small, chaotic, and faint. But what James Webb saw was the exact opposite. Massive galaxies, perfectly formed spirals, well-organized star systems, structures that should have taken billions of years to develop, already in place just 180 million years after the supposed Big Bang. It's as if someone handed us a photograph of a fully grown oak tree taken minutes after planting the seed. Scientists couldn't believe their eyes. Dr. Garth Illingworth from UC Santa Cruz asked aloud, how do you form so many stars so quickly? And Alison Kirkpatrick, an astrophysicist from the University of Kansas admitted, I'm lying awake at 3 a.m. wondering if everything I've done in my life was wrong. This wasn't just a few odd galaxies. We talked about nothing more and nothing less than the galaxy cluster Abel 2744. It was everywhere Webb looked, evidence that the early universe may have been far more mature than we've ever believed possible. And that means one thing. The Big Bang Theory, our most sacred scientific origin story, may be missing something big. But if ancient galaxies weren't shocking enough, Webb's next discovery was downright impossible. For the first time ever, it captured a direct infrared image of an exoplanet, HIP 65426b, located 385 light years away. The image was crystal clear. But the planet's existence? A total mystery. This world orbits a star that's only 15 million years old, practically a newborn in cosmic terms. And yet, it's enormous, nearly seven times the mass of Jupiter. Even stranger, the star has no protoplanetary disk. In other words, there's no material around it from which the planet could have formed. It's like finding a skyscraper in the middle of the desert, with no construction equipment, no workers, and no signs it was ever built. Scientists have tried to explain it. Maybe the planet formed elsewhere and was flung into orbit, or maybe it's a fluke. But Webb's clarity leaves little room for speculation. This planet is real, and it's not alone. Because with every new image Webb sends back, we find more anomalies, worlds and stars that break the rules. And each time, our understanding of how the universe works grows a little more unstable. While analyzing light from some of the most distant objects in the universe, James Webb captured what's known as an Einstein ring, an optical illusion caused by gravitational lensing. But this ring wasn't just rare, it was nearly perfect. A full, undistorted circle of light, produced by a galaxy 12 billion light-years away. To achieve such symmetry, an extraordinary set of cosmic conditions must align. A foreground galaxy with immense mass, a background source perfectly positioned, and just the right curvature of space-time. It's so rare that even seasoned astrophysicists stared at the image in disbelief. But the ring didn't just look beautiful, it told a darker story because the light had been stretched and curved not just by gravity, but by time itself. We were looking at a message from the past, bent into shape by the invisible architecture of the cosmos. And some began to ask, what if these rings, these distortions, are windows, not just to distant galaxies, but to deeper truths about the shape of our universe and its origin? As these discoveries piled up, one theory began to resurface, a theory long dismissed as fringe, the oscillating universe. 
Instead of a single Big Bang followed by endless expansion, this model suggests a universe that breathes, expanding, contracting, and rebirthing itself in an infinite cycle. And suddenly, it makes sense. The synchronized rotation of galaxies, the ancient fully formed structures, the mysterious alignments, all could be echoes of a previous universe. The spin of galaxies, preserved like fingerprints from an earlier cycle. And the supposed beginning of time? Maybe it wasn't the beginning at all. Some scientists now wonder if black holes are the seeds of new universes, if each collapse leads to another expansion. And if so, then James Webb isn't just peering into the past. It's catching glimpses of a story far longer, far stranger, and far more eternal than we've ever imagined. And if that's true, we may have to rewrite not just textbooks, but everything we think we know about reality. As astronomers pored over James Webb's panoramic glimpses of the cosmos, a disturbing pattern began to emerge, one too consistent to dismiss as coincidence. Galaxies separated by billions of light years appeared to be rotating in the same direction. That's not supposed to happen. According to our standard cosmological model, once the universe expanded after the Big Bang, galaxies should have developed in random orientations, scattered like leaves in a cosmic wind. But this wasn't random. This was rhythm, order, intention. What does that mean? Some physicists believe it may point to a hidden structure underpinning the universe, an unseen scaffolding of space-time that influences matter on the largest scales. Others go further, speculating that such uniformity could be a residue of something before the Big Bang, some cosmic echo that carried forward into our present universe. The implication is staggering. If galaxies are aligned across the observable universe, then maybe what we're living in isn't just a chaotic expansion, but a deliberately tuned system, a mechanism, or worse, a message. In astronomy, redshift is a sacred measurement. It tells us how far a galaxy is, how fast it's moving, and how long ago its light began its journey. But James Webb's ultra-precise sensors have thrown a wrench into this cornerstone of cosmology. Several high redshift galaxies appeared much brighter and closer than their calculated distances should allow. The models didn't match. Their size, brightness, and age suggested they were far older than they had any right to be. And that led to a chilling question. What if redshift doesn't work the way we thought it did? If so, every assumption we've made about distance, age, and expansion may be flawed. It's like realizing your map has been drawn with a warped ruler. The distances between everything are wrong, and so is your position. If this anomaly holds up, it could mean the universe isn't expanding uniformly, or that something is actively manipulating light as it travels to us. Is this a flaw in our understanding of physics? Or is something about space-time itself changing between the source and our eyes? One of the strangest things James Webb uncovered isn't what it saw, but what it didn't. While most of the sky glowed with activity, pulsars, exoplanets, radiation fields, there were regions that were eerily silent. Zones with inexplicably low levels of matter, no detectable stars, and a complete absence of background radiation. In theory, this shouldn't be possible. The cosmic microwave background should be nearly uniform across the sky. Yet these cosmic voids looked like someone had drawn blackout circles across the universe. Some tried to explain them as statistical anomalies. But the shapes were too clean, the darkness too complete. One theory suggests that these could be signs of cosmic engineering. Regions deliberately cleared or shielded by an advanced force. Perhaps civilizations so old and powerful they work on scales we can't yet fathom. Another possibility is even more terrifying. That these are scars, wounds in the fabric of the universe. Relics of ancient collisions or events so powerful they erased matter itself. Whatever the cause, one thing is clear. Space, as we know it, isn't as uniform or passive as we once believed. And these dark zones may be more than absence. They may be hiding something. In what may be the most jaw-dropping revelation of all, James Webb's instruments recently detected spectral fingerprints on an exoplanet known as K218b. Molecules not only compatible with life, but suggestive of biological processes. Among them, dimethyl sulfide, 
a compound known on Earth to be produced exclusively by living organisms, specifically plankton. If confirmed, this would be the first ever detection of a biosignature beyond our solar system. But it gets stranger. The signal wasn't random. It was stable, persistent, and possibly widespread across the planet's atmosphere. Some scientists now whisper that we may not be detecting life as a future possibility, but as a current reality. And with the redshift anomalies and Einstein rings bending time, others have begun to speculate, could we be seeing a planet not as it was, but as it is now? A living, breathing world with intelligence watching back through the veil? So now, we stand at a threshold, a precipice of understanding where every new image from the James Webb telescope is like a whisper from the universe itself. What we thought we knew about the cosmos is dissolving. Time may not be linear. The Big Bang may not have been the beginning. Planets are forming in ways no one predicted. Entire zones of space appear deliberately erased. And the fingerprints of life may already be scattered across distant atmospheres, waiting to be noticed. Science has always evolved by challenging the limits of what we think is possible. But James Webb isn't just challenging the limits. It's blowing them apart. And in doing so, it's opening doors to questions that humanity has never been brave enough to ask out loud. Are we part of a repeating cosmic cycle? Are we being watched? Is the universe as we know it just one layer of a far more complex reality? Whatever the answers may be, one thing is certain. The story isn't over. In fact, it may have just begun. And if you want to be there for every twist, every discovery, and every mind-bending revelation that follows, subscribe now, turn on notifications, and join us as we follow the clues left behind in starlight. Because the universe is speaking louder than ever. The only question is, are we finally ready to listen?